Okay, so there's not much else to do here, so I think we'll just mosey on out of here. Doesn't look like anything's gonna happen. Well, oh, wait, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Another cutscene? Oh, what I say? They're pounding on. Enjoy, guys. So this is Elaine. Yes. She's the one I had the psychic vision of. Do you doubt it? No, indeed. Good. Let's begin. It has been a long time indeed, Mr. O'Flaherty. Oh, Elaine, is that really you? Yes, it is. It is such a pity that we meet again, and I can only present myself to you in this form. This is the woman that responded to my voice, is it not? Thank you for doing this for someone like myself. Elaine, I haven't yet come to terms. Please tell me how this happened to you. Of course I will explain. James, 18 years ago, I was murdered by some thieves that broke into my home. I was helpless. Both Patrick and Ogden were out on business. There was nothing that anyone could do. I will not accept this. This should not have happened. Yes. Patrick responded the same exact way. He could not accept my death. He spent years and years perfecting his craft in wizardry and tried everything in his power to bring me back to life. Resurrecting the dead? Is this for real? Hey, we're not talking about Frankenstein here. Frankenstein? That novel written about a hundred years ago? He was taking it very seriously. And he had found the key to actually make it happen. The immigrant document. Yes. With Ogden's assistance and the powers from ancient druids, he held a resurrection ceremony in this monastery. Up. But something went wrong, didn't it? He only resurrected my physical body. As you can see, my soul is still doomed to roaming the universe forever separated from my body. And the terrifying thing is that my body was resurrected as a heartless monster. Monster. Although the monster may look like me, it is not me. Mr. O'Flaherty, please turn my body into ashes with your power. Ashes? If I do that, we won't be able to bring you back to life. Mr. O'Flaherty, I was robbed of my life by those thieves, and I could hate them as mortal enemies. Choose to think that my death was preordained by the Lord. Please, do not mourn my death. It was wrong for Patrick to try to resurrect me. To undo the work of God. Please, do not be sad. Death is at the heart of God's reasoning. I urge you to destroy my body. Its existence defies the wise providence of heaven. It mustn't ex exist in this world. Wait! Elaine! God! Curse! What a cruel world! I gave everything for your happiness, and now what have I left with? I have no meaning in my life. Damn it! What have I been doing with my life? Elaine! Elaine! I don't care what anyone says, this game has some of the best music and voice acting. 
I have played many games. I have played games that have come out years, years after this game, and the voice acting does not even compare to this game. I love this fucking game. The voice acting's spot on, the music's spot on. Yes, the one thing I could probably say about this game is the slow start. <laughs> Shit, until this 3, you don't even learn the main reason as to why everyone's here. But when it does pick up, it is deep. That whole conversation and the feeling in the voice actors' actual voices as they were portraying their characters, deep, deep stuff. I felt it. If you didn't, well, you know what? You're fucking crazy. You see a scroll with a picture of a dragon. Above the dragon it reads, Hasta! If you remember correctly, this means hearth in Greek. Thanks! Huh, <laughs> you're... <laughs> the fire burning in the hearth. I love how, uh, you know, everyone in this fucking party is just at genius level stats because they're able to just... Yeah, they know Greek and all of that awesome shit. I mean, why, why wouldn't they know this kind of stuff? So, we continue to press on through Kudelka. Okay, start investing Mogaten. And we get an empty bottle. Oh, snap, son! We need that. I know you guys know we need that. I'm not sure if you guys remember why we need it, but you will. We got some Hromosnos. Some Hromosnos. And we got some, some Rifle Rouse for the Hromosnos. And we get... Patrick's Memo. All right. Key item right now. Biatchas. Okay, so, let's go to read Patrick's memo. No written by, whoop, no written by Patrick. Monitoring his weight over a period of several weeks. According to Patrick, weighed more or less 70 kilograms. Kilograms. Let's go here. Now, if you remember, it said that that little note, like, clue said hearth. So, there you go. Secret passage. You cannot actually, uh get to that area, you know, actually activate the secret passage, unless you, um, looked at the bookshelf. And what's this? Why, it's a scale! You found a scale with a counterweight attached. By just the counterweight, you can change the balance of the scale. 70 kilograms written on Pax Roma. Maybe you should adjust the counterweight to that. Okay, so, uh, duh, 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 duh. I think we add 25. I think that... Yeah, yeah, that's good. I think that clicking means the door opened. Pretty sure it's 25. Bingo! Bingo, bango, bongo! What was that? You a dead person? A tinderbox. Oh, I can't carry more items. That's no good. Okay, let's go to our items. Let's go to accessories. Let's go to weapons. So we don't need some of these weapons. So, we've got the... Shotgun RD or the shotgun 2? I need to really check which one's better. But, you know, we're going to get rid of... We're going to get rid of... Yeah, I'm going to discard you. Then we're going to go to... Tools. Our shotgun. See the fire scroll? I made sure to keep that. Let's do bow gun. No, not bow gun. Shotgun shells. And I'm James... Go to equipment because I think we got that shotgun after they left the party. The shotgun two, no rifle RD, no. At this point, he's good with what he's got. So let's do this. Talk to him. And we got the tinderbox. And uh oh, oh shit. What is this? Bugs? The beginning of the game? Alright, so we're basically going to take out giant spider and cockroach. Um, you know. By leveling up Kudelka's spells! No! Fuck spider up. Slash him in the face. Really? Kudelka's spell? Damn! Kudelka's spell should be leveling up soon. Close to being soon. But, oh shit, I actually forgot... something. Give me one second. Get the battle finish and I will tell you. 
Nah, spell and level up, bitch. Dropping the ball. Look at that sword. Sword in his hands. Okay, now that the battle's over, I can explain. We need to go back and speak to Roger Bacon. He had asked for some time. Now we gave him time. So we need to go back. Need to speak to old Roger. Roger ba Bacon. Let's, let's climb up the ladder. And head back to Roger Bacon. Because the old mummified bastard will be helping us. Hey, hey come on, girl. Come on, girl. This right here is a scale. By the way, see? That's how you uh, figure out the 25. Forgot to show you that. Sorry. Getting a little ahead of myself. Getting a little ahead of myself, guys. I'm sorry. You guys forgive me. Post in the comments if you forgive me. Okay. I have no idea how long I've been recording. But I will be ending soon because I need to show you guys something. Not show you, but I'm going to explain something to you, and then I need to do some leveling. Not level grinding. He's still engaged in research. All right. More scenes. More action. More story. More Exodus nonsense. I know it's here. I, I saw it here. I put it here. Uh, what? Uh, have you come round to see me again? I want you to look at this. Research journal. I want you to tell us whether what's written there can actually happen or not. Well, let me see. Hmm. Yes, yes, I see. Oh, that's right. Resurrecting the dead. Ooh. A cauldron. The Bradwin tales, indeed. Yes. It is most likely that the events detailed here did take place. Just as I thought. But that's so frightening that Personally, it... Personally, I have not attempted it. I am certain that the immigre document contained accounts of secret rituals conducted to resurrect the dead. But as you can tell from reading this, it involves complicated preparatory work. I had given up discerning the impossibility of using the psychic powers necessary to create such an immense psychic platform. And moreover, I never expected that people would attempt to challenge such a feat. The journals say that the physical body was resurrected, but not the soul. Absolutely. The ancients held the secret to life in the palm of their hands. <laughs> but they could never come close to touching the secrets of the soul. They resurrected the dead in order to use their physical bodies as a workforce, thus building the great civilization we oftentimes speak of. In fact, we would not be far off if we called them uh, puppeteers. <laughs> Exploiting the human body as an object. If so, then we... Yes, resurrecting the dead and restoring them to life as it was before death is in Possible. Then how do you return the resurrected body once again to Earth? That is a very complicated question, since it already defies universal logic. Please. It is no easy task. Tell me how. It's Woody Lane, God rest her soul, wanted. Right. <laughs> it is not absolutely impossible. But I would need to call forth the sacred powers in order to complete such a feat. Hmm. Oh, yes. I know that the arm of Daniel Scotius, the man who built this monastery, is stored in a stone statue on the ground. If... if we... Throw that into a cauldron, and we will successfully destroy the roots of the tree of life. Oh, after that, I haven't a clue whether to call forth the energies of fire or entrust the task to water. Oh, it is so complicated. Fire. No. Or water. 
water. What are we going to do? Oh, Heavenly Father, bless our souls and bring forth an end to this suffering. Oh. Hmm. Shit, fire or water? You bitches know what I'd pick. Oof! Alright, so now that little scene's over. You're learning that you need the arm of Daniel Scorchius, which we got back in the day. So, we don't have to really worry about getting the arm, so we're gonna just head on back to where we need to go, which is the vestry. Which, in case you don't know, the vestry is where the priests would go to change into their vestments, their, their special vestments for ceremonies and such like that. So we're going to head back here, because this is where I showed you to go, but I was mistaken, because I forgot to talk to Roger Bacon. Wow, bitch, you just jumped on down, didn't you? Feel good about yourself? Yeah, you feel good about yourself. Let's grab these items. There are some items here. I'm pretty sure that's a fucking item. No! Oh, it's bank. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Forgot. I know where the items are. Oh, great. Upside down, tri face, gun, crazy, wall, ceiling, walking man. It's you. So we meet again. Ah, oh, don't shoot us, dick. No, yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool. Shoot us in the face. Yeah, we don't have a fucking problem with that. Oh, but you know what? Edward does. And uh, his fucking sword does too. Yeah, no! And die. Thank you. And we won another battle. Did you? Yeah. I'm gonna show you why I went back and spoke to Roger. Edward Puckett. Okay, so we're going to want to increase agility, vitality, and dexterity. Strength is fine. It's increased intelligence, piety, and agility. And switch to Edward. Oh, I mean James and heal Kudelka. Speak to this thing. Shotgun six. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Items, weapons. So we don't need the rifle. Let's pick it up again. Come on, Kudelka. We're busy. And we should get some shotgun shells. Thank you, shotgun shells. That was very nice of you. Now, let's see if we can change our, our hithered equipment. God, my fucking tooth is growing in. Oh, it fucking hurts! Uh, no. No. The only good thing about that is... Let's see, it's... Shit. That does have more bullet holding capacity. So we get six bullets as opposed to two, and his agility goes up by one. Uh, we're not going to trade that off yet. Not yet, anyway. We might, though. Do I have to reload? No. Okay, we're good. Let's move this way. Okay. Go across this plank through the door. Now, basically, you wouldn't be allowed to open the door uh, if you didn't speak to Roger. We're actually going to save. Gar tooth! Huh. I really can't believe my fucking tooth hurts this much. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that. We want to overwrite... Aw, oh, come on, bitch. Alright, fuck it. We're not doing a save point, apparently. Okay, so. Here we are. Should we stop here? We're gonna... No. No, no, no. We're gonna keep going, because I'm not quite where I want to be. So we're gonna keep going this way. Again, guys, I will show you. The fuck? See, six dolls. It looks like the lower four dolls can be moved. Shit, what was the answer to this? Oh yeah, okay, move that one. No, no, yes. There you go. Done, over. Now we're gonna pick this up, which is some Roman Nutsi. Gonna pick up some uh, 
Some pistol rounds. Some fucking pistol rounds. No, don't try to pick up the pistol rounds again. You have too much. Let me go through here. And Sledango. Shotgun shells. Nice. I'm going to go through here. So, -ho, what's this? Huh? It's through here. The vestry, the first floor. Now! Okay? This is where I want to stay because you can run into the Mars enemy, which drops scrolls. So this is where my recording is going to end because I'm going to stay in said area, farm for some scrolls, and then... We're going to try to take on the Gargoyle, maybe even in the next episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of QTA Clusema. I hope to see you all again. And remember, keep on laughing.